Hello everyone, we continue talking about Chanel style. Notice that a lot of jackets are decorated with such amazing flowers. You can see them in almost every of these outfits. This is what we're going to talk about today. Flowers made of Chanel style fabric. I want to pay your attention to one thing. You know that sometimes you see an item and think that it's decorated too much. It never happens with Chanel style clothes. Have a look at these jackets. The bottom is decorated. The sleeves are decorated. There is a collar here, a flower and a big necklace. The flaps are also decorated. Have a look at these jackets. It's decorated with the dreams of three colors. The bottom, the neckline, the pockets, the sleeves. There is a necklace on the front. There is also a flower on the shoulder. Don't be afraid to decorate the items you make. Today we will show you how to make such amazing Chanel style flowers. We made a Chanel style jacket for one of our customers and made this amazing flower for it. This is a brush and made it. We love the brush and decided to show you how to make it. And will help me today. Have a look here. Anne made this pattern when making the first flower. You can either cut leaves this way or make a pattern for a leaf and cut them separately. Anne thinks that it's more comfortable to work this way. She will be able to edge the whole detail as one piece. We'll outline the pattern. We'll add some when cutting to make beautiful edges. There are 13 leaves in this pattern. Each leaf is 6.5 cm long and 4 cm wide. When cutting, we'll add 5 mm for edges. You can add more if you want. We just show you the technique. Anne is outlining the leaves. She'll edge them all together with a zigzag seam. Anne outlined the pattern with a blue piece of chalk. Of course, you shouldn't use blue color. Next, we need to stitch these leaves with zigzag seam. The width of the stitches is 2 mm. The distance between the stitches is 7 mm. Let's start working. Anne made this pattern and created the technique for stitching the leaves this way. This is the only way to stitch all the 13 leaves together. All of the leaves are even. Don't hurry, work slowly. Anne is edging all the details with just one seam. Such flowers make Chanel style jackets look absolutely amazing. You can also decorate dresses this way. The best thing about such brushes is that they are detachable. That means that you don't need to wear them each time you put the jacket on. You can make a flower this way, or you can dress each and each leaf separately. You need to be patient to stitch all the leaves. I remind you that we are making zigzag seam.
You already know that Anne loves making different flowers. She showed you how to decorate tops and blouses with flowers. Watch the video if you haven't seen it yet. Today Anne is showing you how to make Chanel style brushes in the form of flowers. Anne is finishing stitching the leaves with zigzag seam. I know that you can see pink seam on the pink fabric. When Anne finishes stitching, she'll double the fabric with interfacing. She will do it off the camera and we will explain why. This is how the detail looks like from the right side. Notice that the stitching kind of gathers the fabric a bit. Don't worry, it's absolutely okay. This is how the detail looks like from the wrong side. Next, we will double the detail with interfacing. Have a look here and double the bottom of this detail with a thin stripe of interfacing. The width of this stripe of interfacing is about 1 cm. We did it in order for the leaves not to break. Next we need to cut the leaves. Do not forget to add about 5 mm to each edge to make beautiful trim. Don't cut too close to the seam. Do you remember how the flower I showed you in the beginning looked like? Each leaf was decorated with beautiful raw edges. You can make leaves bigger or smaller. You can make them of different shape. We just show you the techniques. You can adjust the techniques we show you to anything you make. We cut the leaves. Next, we need to make beautiful raw edges. Watch how Anne is doing it. Such edging makes the flowers look like a real one. Rouges made this way look very beautiful. This is just one of the ways to make such brushes, the most simple one. Edging is faster than stitching. Next, we need to use scissors to cut the threads which are too long. Now 
This is how the detail looks like from the right side. And this is how it looks like from the wrong side. The only thing that is different is that the bottom is doubled with interfacing. Next, we will show you how to make a flower. Fold the first leaf this way and fix it by hands. Next, we need to do the same thing with the second leaf. Hold it this way and make several stitches. You need to attach all the leaves this way. Fold the leaf, then make a couple of stitches, then fold the next leaf and make several stitches, and so on. Notice that one leaf is in the middle of the flower, and the others around it. I remind you that Anne didn't cut the leaves separately. This is one single piece detail. So basically, you need to attach all the other leaves to the first one. Do not forget to make a fold in each leaf, otherwise the leaves would look flat. When you start making the second circle, make sure that you attach each leaf in between the two ones of the first circle. The flower is almost ready. Notice that N makes the flower look good both from the wrong and from the right sides. N is attaching the last leaves. This is the last one. When you attach the last leaf, you need to make some more stitches to make sure that you fix the flower. We made a couple of stitches in each leaf, and we need to make some more to fix all the leaves together. Such Chanel style brushes look absolutely gorgeous. Anne is trying to fix the details in such way that the brush looks even more like a flower. N needs to fix the thread. Next, we need to attach several pearls in the center of the flower. We will attach one big pearl and several small ones. The big one is very beautiful.
Next, we'll attach a couple of smaller pearls. You can attach as many pearls as you want. You can decorate flowers you make differently. Anyway, we all know that Chanel items are usually decorated with pearls. Have a look at the way Anne attaches these pearls. Next, we'll attach small ones. The most important thing is that we showed you the technique for making such flowers. Have a look at the flower. The leaves are ready, the pearls are ready. Next, we need to attach a bottom detail to the wrong side. Have a look at it. It's doubled with interfacing. And we'll attach it to the wrong side. Attach it by hands. Can you see how careful we are? We are civilized. We make flowers with bottom details. Attach the bottom detail to the flower by hands. That's it. The only thing left to do is to attach a pin. Notice that Anne uses not pink, but grey thread to attach the pin. You can use a regular pin if you can't find such one, with round bottom. Have a close look at the flower. This is how it looks like now. This is the right side. And show them the wrong side, please. It's also very beautiful. That's all for today. Now you know how to make such amazing flowers. Be different and beautiful. We try to help you really hard. We are Pauk Irina and Anne. Subscribe to my channel, write comments and share the videos. Thank you. Goodbye.